What happens if a child is literally never kept in check? And do we have any real-world examples? So I was a very bratty kid growing up and would constantly go against my parents lol. So what would happen if a kid could do whatever they wanted, eat whatever they want, watch whatever content they want, go to bed when they want, whatever. Like if a kid says mom I want to skip class, sit around all day and eat ice cream and watch South Park until 3 a.m. Like an extreme example like that for a kid's entire childhood. By the way this is assuming that for whatever reason CPS never gets involved. What was that kid's name who killed those people as a teenager driving drunk? Then after getting caught breaking the terms of his probation, his mom took him to Mexico to not face any more consequences. I'm pretty sure that. They become adults with no life skills and no coping mechanisms, which usually results in high anxiety, short fuses, and unreliable relationships. You probably know a handful of real-life examples. My two youngest brothers fit the description. They are both unemployed, alcoholics, filthy and extreme anger management problems. Refuse to even try function as semi-responsible adults. Never take attempts to help their mental health as they don't see the problem. Very immature. It's a depressing and frustrating never-ending nightmare. I think they either fall into a chocolate river turn into a giant blueberry or get sucked into a closed-circuit TV set. I think it really depends on their environment. The kid that is never kept in check and has caretakers that fulfill every wish and demand will be fundamentally different from a kid that has no caretakers and can do whatever they want, but they have to fend for themselves. My mom knew someone who was raising their son like this. He was a late-in-life only child so they were able to just give in to whatever he wanted and didn't want to crush his spirit. Anyway, he had to go to military school as a teenager because his father developed cancer and while the father was in treatment the son was doing things like trying to kill himself by jumping out of a first-story window. You might end up extremely overweight, recluse like I did. I didn't want to do anything but sit in my room, eat, and play on my laptop. My mom had no problem with anything. After 18 I started to lose weight, tried to move out and gain a social life. It was hard. Neglect has been shown in trauma to be worse than even physical abuse. The person who was near kept in check probably suffers from PTSD as an adult that can manifest itself in different ways depending on the individual. The son from the murder or murder case. Both sons, really but the one who died especially. Spoiled at home, raised by nanny, got whatever he wanted. Got his friend's GF killed but saw no time because his granddad bailed him out. Friends tried to calm him down and he just got more drunk and belligerent by the minute that night. Every story you hear about him scream spoiled brat with no limits. A shitton of the tragedies in the Murdor family, spanning decade, all could have been avoided with better parenting. But most never learned that actions have consequences. I was never kept in check, my parents never really considered anything other than my grades, but otherwise I could do whatever and they wouldn't notice. This led me to three suicide attempts and still wanting to kill myself twelve years later. I'm utterly useless in any setting because I have no expectations of any kind of structure in life. That was tried by some hippies. Kids like that developed anxiety and low self-esteem, because parents letting kids do what they want basically translated to parent doesn't give shit about me. Kids do need structure and rules to grow up healthy. There is now in psychology whole subclass of parenting styles explaining exactly that kind of parenting and what kind of interventions need to be done on kids to help them grow up healthy. Brock Turner Eventually, they will become president of the United States, get voted out after one term, and attempt an insurrection to prevent the results of that election from being certified. There is a style of parenting like this, permissive parenting where the parents cave into their kids' demands often, but even they should have their unspoken limits. We can assume that automatically this kid would grow up to be entitled and narcissistic like permissive parenting has been found to do, which we can only think that these effects would be amplified in this case. 
besides that though, it all depends very heavily upon the kid's preference, exactly what they are exposed to, and their choices, which will decide how bad they will be in any mentioned regard in later life. Then you end up like my housemate, whose girlfriend cleans for him, comes home from university between classes to cook him steak she's a vegetarian, but he doesn't know how to cook and apparently is incapable of learning, who won't allow other people to clean up after him because they're touching his stuff, but doesn't clean up after himself, who doesn't understand why other people in the house won't buy his groceries for him, who tried to insure himself on someone else's car without their permission and couldn't understand the DMV's problem. Usually they end up as those 19-year-olds on the cops show who try to get out of shoplifting charges by saying do you know who my daddy is? Substitute teach for a week. You'll be able to answer all your questions. Steve Jobs was never told no as a child. He turned into an abusive cunt who couldn't be told no. Kids crave structure. At the end of the day, they become embittered adults with resentment because the line between they let me do whatever I want to I could have honestly died is pretty thin, and it turns into would they have cared if I died. An extreme example but still. They also are often incredibly anxious adults, because structure and rules gives you boundaries and a blueprint. Without it, there's a lot of him glad I wasn't told no a lot, but now I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. Permissive becomes neglect very easily. They made a TV series about just this in the UK. Put a heap of pre-teens in a house and let them go at it. It went properly Lord of the Flies. House got trashed, kids split into warring factions, all the rest of it. Then the study came to a close, their parents came to get them, none too happy that given the opportunity their little cherubs had turned into psychotic assholes. Isn't this how Will Smith and Jada Pinkett allowed Jaden and Willow to grow up? Real world example guy got held accountable for the first time in 70 years, found guilty on 34 counts, still blames everyone but himself. Good thing his daddy gave him a SMLL loan of 440 million in the 70s. We have prisons full of kids who were never kept in check. WTF? This can sometimes be found in large families between the oldest and the youngest child. I am the oldest, my brother, who is 13 years my junior is the youngest. Being the first, my parents were pretty strict with me, but very lax with him. I retired at 52 after a 29-year career. He has never had a job for longer than a year and hasn't worked in the last 15 years. He lived with his girlfriend and does nothing all day but smoke weed. My niece is like that. Now she's 11 and punches people, including her mother. My stepson's mom let my SS do this. We have full custody now because of her lack of parenting neglect. I will tell you it is terrible for a kid. They do not turn out well. Every day is a challenge now. Trump Best example Jake Paul Northwest is that child. See Belltown Hellcat LOL. OP, I hope you are asking this because you are curious and not because you are considering doing this to your child. This would be terrible, not just for the kid, but for their future friends, classmates, co-workers, love partners, etc. This is how you end up with a narcissist who genuinely believes that everyone and everything revolves around them. Before you know it, they are on the news for stabbing someone who rejected them. It's a Good Life, Season 3, Episode 8 of The Twilight Zone. Two of my friends were like this growing up. I was in awe, because I had ridiculous rules. Both of them became pharmacists, college paid for by the scholarships they got for grades and for being involved in sports and other clubs. Both are moms now as well. One has free-range, unschooled children. The other has kids who appear to be being parented on a strict regimen a male friend was also allowed to be completely in control of his life. He partied to death at 19 after dropping out at 15. I guess it depends on so many factors. What I do know is kids need guidance and routine. You get cash me outside girl. 
add money into the mix and you get Trump. Prison